Welcome to another lesson contained within the PeopleSoft Journal Entry Training Module. In this lesson, learn how to copy a journal entry, modify its content, and save it as a new journal ID. Why copy a journal? Consider Scenario 1. When a similar or identical journal entry frequently recurs, to avoid having to retype the same information, a user can copy the existing journal ID posted or unposted and use it for the basis of creating a new journal ID. Scenario 2. When a journal entry does not post in time for the month end closing process and the accounting period is now closed, a user can copy the journal ID and process it in the current accounting period. When the process is complete, the user would then delete the original journal ID. Remember, posted entries cannot be deleted. Scenario 3. When a journal entry is inadvertently entered and posted to the GL backwards, i.e. a debit is entered into the system instead of a credit, or vice versa, the user can copy the posted journal ID, modify all applicable fields, and process the new journal ID. The impact to the GL when the original entry and the newly copied entry is processed and posted is zero dollars. In this case, reversing the original journal ID alone is not sufficient. The user will copy the new journal ID, creating yet another new journal ID, modify all applicable fields, and process the new journal ID. To perform the copy process, begin by recalling the journal ID you want to copy and navigate to the Lines page. Click Main Menu, General Ledger, Journals, Journal Entry, Create Update Journal Entries, Click the Find an Existing Value tab. In the Journal ID field, change the Begins With to Contains. Type in the last six digits of the ID, for example, 253383. Click the Search button. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Click the Journal ID hyperlink. Click the Lines page. Change the Edit Journal to be Copy Journal. Click the Process button. The journal entry copy page will open. Select a valid date from the drop down calendar, typically the current date. In the top right section of the screen, notice three checkboxes Reverse signs, recalculate budget date, and save journal in complete status. Select the reverse signs checkbox only when the purpose of the new entry being created is to copy the existing entry using reverse signs. For example, the original debit will be entered as a credit and vice versa. Recalculate budget date checkbox. Always select this checkbox. Save journal in complete status. We will use this feature a little later in the demonstration. Click the OK button. The lines page will open and a new journal ID is now displayed. Notice our ID is 253387. To keep our demonstration simple, if the purpose of this entry is to simply reverse this entry, because it should never have happened in the first place, all we would need to do is change the debit to a credit and change the credit to a debit. For example, on the line one, put a dash in front of the 250 and on line 2 we will remove the dash making it a debit. The next step is to change the journal line description to a meaningful description. For example, reverse journal entry 253383. We can copy and paste this same description in line 2. The next step is to return to the header page, change the description, for example, reverse journal entry 253383 to ensure the manual approval process is followed, select the save journal incomplete status, return to the lines page, Notice the journal status is T for incomplete status. Upon completing the approval process, return to this page, 
edit the journal, click the process button. A message will display indicating the journal is saved. Click OK. Notice the journal status and the budget status indicate V, signifying the entry is now ready to be posted to the GL. This concludes our tutorial. To view this lesson in an alternative format or to review additional lessons in this series, visit the online learning catalog located on the Financial Services training page.